Let's roll into section two, which is monetizing the audience, starting with Twitter ads for followers. A few well-written promoted tweets will do more for your account than years of non-promoted tweeting. That's the biggest difference between the way that we teach Twitter in Twitter 10K and the way that most people teach Twitter. Most people talk about going out there with great content and posting consistently and trying to slowly build your audience. But what we figured out is you can write a couple good tweets, optimize your profile, and then promote it with ads, and you can deliver the exact same amount of growth that you would get organically over years, but you could do it in months, sometimes even days, like we did with L Software King. That was an extreme example, but we did it. So why use ads? Well, ads are the easiest way to grow your account fast. STY says, are the followers we get from your course engaged followers? They're real. If you write engaging content, they will engage. Now, when I say ads, a lot of people think, oh, you're getting fake followers or just buying followers. But what I've found over time is these are engaged followers that you're finding based on their likes. The only thing the ads do is help people that would not normally see you to see you. And they increase distribution, which if you're an entrepreneur or maybe you're a wannabe entrepreneur, whatever, you know that distribution is the number one most important thing when it comes to growing any business. You wanna make sure that enough people see your thing so that you can actually know if it's good or not. And ads are the quickest way to get people to see your Twitter page, thus validate it, unvalidate it, grow it, not grow it, etc., and save yourself a bunch of wasted time. So let's do this. Twitter allows you to have followers as a campaign goal, and it's one of the only platforms that does this. YouTube doesn't do that. No other platform really does that. Facebook kind of has the likes feature, so it's kind of similar, but Twitter allows you to have followers as a campaign goal. So, you can actually optimize your ad to find relevant Twitter followers of whatever criteria you want, whether they look like your Twitter pod or whether you want followers that have mentioned a certain thing on Twitter or are in certain countries, like maybe just the US, maybe you want followers from everywhere in the world, you can go for followers. Now, how much do you spend on Twitter ads? That's another huge question. And the budget that I found pretty realistically pretty consistently that I've been able to hit is 15 cents per follower. That means if you want to get your 10,000 followers, it's going to cost $1,500. You don't have to spend the 1,500. You don't have to spend that all at once either. I just know when we were doing the L Software King experiment to fulfill the promise of this course, to get your 10,000 followers on Twitter, you will in theory and in practice have to spend about $1,500 on ads. If, if you want 10,000 followers. Now, I didn't do that at first on my Alex Berman account. I only did that all in one lump sum for L Software King, but it worked. And we tweeted on L Software King this morning and it's engaged and the content is getting organic likes without advertising after. So, I mean, this really works. Like I'll show you here. We can go over to Twitter and I'll show you L Software King. So this is, days after we paused all advertising on L Software King. And I posted this Twitter poll up here. All right, you can see this Twitter poll, which business model is best? And 81 people already voted in the Twitter poll and it's only been about four hours. And you can see the low, the low engagement, but for a Twitter poll, totally normal. It's already got three comments on it, four comments on it. And this is a real audience on L Software King that we've now built via advertising in 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever, you know, however, however long it took. It took under three days. I know that for a fact. 15 cents per follower is what I'm targeting. We're going international. I personally do not mind followers from other countries. You might want to just get US followers, in which case you're going to see a higher cost per follow, possibly even up to 50 cents. All I know is I don't mind the international followers. They buy our courses. You saw them buy five copies of the SaaSwiz course that we we're selling. So we made $500 back off the 1500 already. And I'm going to give this Twitter account to K Prime. I'm going to give it back to the, uh, to the viewer that I got it from. 
And then he's going to be able to build a Twitter business completely off of this 1500. So I'm not worried about breaking even on it. Feel good about it. Already made one third of the budget back. So Terrence says, and what does the advertising consist of? Well, my friend, we're advertising all of our tweets to find the best performing ones for followers. And in the next section, I'm going to show you what tweets to write to actually promote the course and make more course sales. Right now, we're trying to get that 10,000 followers that were promised as part of Twitter 10K. It's right there in the name, right? Twitter 10K, let's get the 10K. So what do you need to be ready for advertising? Where does your account need to be in order to advertise? Well, I would love to, before you spin up your ads, I would love to see that you have a perfect profile meaning your branding and messaging is on point. Your pinned tweet needs to be written. You should write your first 10 tweets. You should negotiate for an affiliate deal or bundle your, or build your Gumroad course. Have a course if you followed course 10K or something. Either have your own course or what I actually recommend for new people is to negotiate an affiliate deal like we talked about before. So something to sell and the profile's ready to go. Then if you really wanna spend your 1500, you're actually going to have to request a budget increase from Twitter by emailing ad-support at twitter.com. And you could tell them, hi, I'd like to increase the credit limit to at least $1,500. Thank you. I know I had to do that because otherwise your credit limit's going to be $200. But I don't recommend doing the 10,000 followers in one go. Please don't do that. You might waste this money. <laughs> I only did that to show you that it was possible, not because that's the way you should do it. Now, only do that if you want to spend your 1,548 hours, which I did, but I don't recommend. I recommend going a little slower so you can actually learn Twitter instead of blasting it out in one go. But, you know, some of us have an extra 1,500 and want the 10,000 followers. So, you can watch me now set up the ads for L Software Wizard. I did this live on the Twitter 10K stream when I acquired the account. And we're going to cut to that now. You can watch me set it up. And this will show you step by step exactly how to set up an ad campaign via Twitter ads. As K Prime. K Prime. Now let's see if we can get into Twitter ads. Start the campaign. Country. So we'll get started here. You still streaming? Yeah, you guys can still see me. All right. United States. LA. So we're going for followers first. Step one, going to followers. This is going to be K prime followers. Or not K prime, what is he? Software king. Software king, my brain is jelly now. Yay, gelatin. All right. New target cost 0 0.15. The tweets should be loading now. Yes, they are. Good bug fix. Um, anywhere in the world, any age range, any operating system, uh, interests are going to be entrepreneurship and software engineering. Okay. 15 cents a follower at $100 spend should be 666 followers. So actually for 10,000 followers, what are we spending? We're going to end up spending, that's not how you do it. 1500 for 10,000. So for our first 100 followers. Hang on. Yeah, okay. So 660 followers. So this should be almost enough to get them over 1,000 followers in one day. Let's see. It'll be like 780 tomorrow morning. <laughs> if this works correctly. So let's add all the tweets. This is what I do. So one, two, three. Learn to code is bullshit. So we only have four tweets. I'm assuming he doesn't have any other good tweets, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we got four tweets. Let me tweet some more real quick. <sighs> Build. Start your software company. Just do it. Um, instead of learn to code, okay. boomers should not worry about retirement. They can spend 2K and create a SaaS that makes them 10K a month. Why aren't more people doing this? Not they. Say boomers should not worry about retirement. You can spend 2,000 and create a SaaS that makes 10,000 a month. 10k a month. Why aren't more people doing this? Um, building software is easy. They want you to think it's hard. My friend is literally retarded and got a job. I, I don't want to write that, but I'm going to type it real quick and see what you guys think. I don't know if I want to say that. Um, I'm, I'll say it. I'll say it. One, two, three, four, five. Is that ten? Do we have ten now? Coding is hard. Hiring is easy. So, hire coders. Okay, coding is hard, but pays a lot. Hiring is easy, but costs money. So hire coders, bank their large salaries. Uh, no, what am I even saying right now? My brain is literally a, a gelatinous glob. <laughs> I need to take a break. Um, okay, I'm spending 100 bucks. I literally just committed to spending $100 on this Twitter account, um, hang on. Let me add a couple more. I'm gonna switch this. This joke can be funnier. Give me one second. It's gonna be. This isn't hard, guys. My friend is literally retarded and got a job at Google. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they'll approve that for a tweet. I hope they do. Okay, um, let me just delete the old one. How many times did I say the same thing? Like 20 times? Nope. Building software is easy. They want you to think it's hard. Um, want to know the easiest, easiest way to make 10,000 bucks? Start a software company. And then let's do like a stupid one, like follow me for tips on how to make six figures 
by launching a SAS. No coding skills required. It's more of a normal ad. Typically normal ads don't really work, but it's always good to test. Uh, guys, hop in cold email university to get this special deal, or it's going to be gone forever in about five seconds, because <laughs> I'm going to hit the Vegas strip. I'm done. I'm done, son. <laughs> Hang on, let me just make sure the ads are going. Okay. Let's see. The ads are going to take a second to get approved. One, two, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. Good. You saw how quickly we made those? Let's see if this works. I am here on the ad dashboard for El Software King. And the way that I set these ads up is first I'll go to create campaign and then click followers, click next. Campaign name is going to be called L Software King followers. Daily budget. Remember, it's 15 cents per follower. So it's whatever, however many followers you want or whatever your budget's going to be. Let's say you could just do $10. We don't have to go crazy. That's like 66, 67 followers a day. So daily budget of 10, your total budget, you can just let it run forever. Hit next. Remember, you're committing to spend 10 bucks a day. So just know that. Country, I'm going to have all countries. Language, all languages. Custom audiences, all. Then for interests, what I'll normally do is follower lookalikes. This is where you put in your Twitter pod. So for us, with these, with this account, it'd be like SaaswWiz, SaaS Capo, people like that. And then also, we're going to go to interests and write software or coding. Enterprise software. You can also write entrepreneurship with these guys. And you don't really need a lot of these. I usually add two or three. And then scroll down. And then you go down to your tweets and we select all the tweets that we want to promote. And normally, I like to do a spray and pray approach like we talked about in this course. So I will select every single tweet that we've made recently and hit next and then just launch the campaign. So then that'll run. Those tweets will get approved. You'll start getting followers. I'm going to turn that off for right now and I'll show you the other campaign so you can see this. So then after you let that run for a few days, you will be able to go in and you can see these tweets are paused here. You'll be able to go in and turn off the tweets. You'll be able to go in and turn off the tweets that were getting followers for a little bit too expensive. So you can see 16 cents. Our goal was to have 15 cents, so I already turned that off. And then 14 cents, this one will be on. 14 cent followers, this one will be on. And what you want to do is bring your cost per follower lower and lower. So you turn off the ones that are above the 15 cents, you leave the ones on, and you'll find some good ones like, for instance, this one. 12 follows at 6 cents a follower. So in theory, if we had continued this, we actually would have been able to get followers for El Software King for 6 cents, which is almost one third the cost. So let's say we had that same $1,500 ad budget we talked about. And if we're generating followers at six cents, we actually could have gotten 25,000 followers for that same exact budget. So if we were gonna go do it again, I would run just this one. And that's why it's always worth looking into your campaigns, turning them on and off based on the cost per follow and optimizing for that. Here is your homework for this section. Sign up for Twitter ads. You can go to ads.twitter.com. All you need is a Twitter account that's over two weeks old. Set up your first ad, even if it's just a dollar a day. One dollar a day is totally fine. That's enough for plenty of followers. You saw even one of our tweets was getting six cent followers. So yeah, you get plenty of followers even with a dollar a day. And if you run into Roadblocks, contact Twitter ad support. They have a very good support system for making sure that your ads run, for making sure that you're actually spending on the right things, etc. So that's your homework. Go sign up for Twitter ads and start promoting your Twitter account. I always recommend you have at least 
some money being spent daily on your Twitter account. At least a dollar. Just spend a, a buck a day, get some followers, and you'll outpace all of your friends at minimum. But if you really want the, the 10K followers, you know what I'm saying. Crank it all the way up. So, now, let's move on to the next section, which is scale. But first, before, actually, before we move on to scale, there's one more thing I want to show you, which is how to promote your course. Because we talked about the tweets that you should write to actually grow the account, but I want to go in more detail about the tweets that you should write to promote the course. So that's going to be the next section. Then we're going to move into section four. So last part of section three is about to happen right now. Now, let's talk about how to write your promo tweets. Because promoting your course is as important as growing your account. That's the whole point, right? Twitter 10K is get 10,000 followers and make the thousand bucks. So we're getting the 10,000. I just showed you how to get the 10,000 followers. Let's talk about how to make the thousand bucks in the next section coming up. Let's do that. But first, do your homework, please. All right, I'll talk to you in a second.